What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a clothing haul today from Shein. And some accessories. So all of this stuff is like summertime clothes, um, beach clothes, clothes to wear with hot weather type of thing. Okay, I got a combination of different shirts. I have some graphic tees, I have some button downs. Um, I have a Henley shirt, so these are all good for different occasions. Um, daytime and nighttime outfits. I'm gonna be like showing y'all both the swimwear slash summer clothes and also just like casual graphic tees and how I will wear it. Right, this is the first graphic tee I got. I did have to steam it. The cotton is pretty soft, um, but they do wrinkle kind of easily, so they don't have like a very thick fabric, um, but it's not thin either. It's just kind of light and stretchy. Um, the graphics on the shirt are also um, kind of thin, so I didn't want to iron it or go over anything because I thought it might like, I don't know, just alter with the material a little bit. So I did steam all of these shirts. They do steam out pretty well, um, but ironing I didn't do it because I just felt like it might burn. Burn the graphic or burn like the shirt. So definitely give these shirts a steam before you wear them. But. The second tee I got, this is in a size large graphic tee in the color tan or beige or something. They had this shirt in a few different colors. Um, I wanted the tan one with the red letters to kind of like pop off, but still um, keep a neutral kind of look that can go with a lot of different clothes. The next shirt is blank on the front, but it has the graphic on the back. The graphic is really like flat. And you can just kind of feel it on your back. I don't like the way this shirt feels actually, but it feels like something's like on your back. Like the, it's not, doesn't lay like flat. So with this shirt, I definitely wear some type of accessory in the front because otherwise it might look kind of plain. Um, so I did get these shades from Shein also. They have like a very, um, kind of like a dark green earth brown tone to it. And I also got these rings. I have more, but I'm just gonna wear these two for this outfit. But I pair it with something like this, just to look a little more, um, still looks like you're doing something, giving some effort instead of just wearing something plain up front. Pair it with some accessories. So these rings are malleable, so you can like bend them um, to kind of fit all of your fingers, which I think is a dope idea. Cause like other rings, you can't bend them, and if they don't fit, then they just don't fit. So All right, this shirt is similar to the rest of the graphic tees. Um, pretty good fabric condition. I don't know if this is a blend or like just all cotton, but they feel pretty soft. Um, but I do feel like they would wrinkle easily and also like overstretch if you wash them too frequently kind of thing. Like the necks on these aren't super um, sturdy. Like I feel like the shirt would kind of stretch out a little bit if you wore it like a lot, didn't really take care of it. Mm. The lettering on this is printed pretty nice. Like it's not stiff or anything around it, so that's fine, that's good. And since it's like brown and neutral, warmer in color, I'd wear like gold accessories if I wanted to accessorize that day. You can squeeze them and pinch them in so they fit a little more around your finger. I 
I got two of these scarves. I've seen people accessorize like the silk scarf, silk scarves differently. I'm not really like the babushka type of guy, but you know, some people go for this look. Let's see if I can pull it off. See what y'all think. By all means. Okay. This is also cool, right? This is cute. Like it's it's kind of a look. Like Third way, I do it like this. We do a square knot, which is just right over left and then left over right. Or left over right and then right over left. And it would look like this. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. And I like the white one um, with lines in it because it doesn't really distract us too much. And luckily this shirt isn't very busy. So you can add a accent, add a little pop to your outfit with I hope y'all ready to see some body. Um, these are the swimming trunks from Shein. I got all of these in a size medium. This is like the normal length, I think. So I'm six two, and they're pretty decent in length. Not too short, not too long. Pretty even, kind of baggy. Um, so not like the tightest swim trunk, which if that's what you're looking for is good, you know. These are very light. They do come with the swim trunk mesh lining in the inside. They also have these three pack of bracelets that I bought. So one comes in like a matte black. Another one comes in like a um, tiger's eye kind of crystal and then this one. All right, these are the next pair of shorts. Same length, these feel actually a little bit thicker than the other white ones do. They're in stripes. It's up close so you can really see the detail. And yeah, it is a um, goldish brown color, kind of like a caramel brown. I'm obviously a fan of like neutrals and stuff. So I'd also wear these probably with the foam runners because the other pair of shoes I have uh, have stripes. Um, and I don't want the stripes to like clash. Pretty good length. Like I said, I'm 6'2", so they show off the legs pretty well. All right, same deal with the yellow pair. These are slightly brighter than something I would normally wear, but that's kind of the point. Didn't want to do something that I always do, so trying something new. They are a pastel e yellow. It's got some white tint to it to make it a little more um, pastel within the yellow, but it's not like super neon. It's just really soft yellow. To kind of tone it down, I will wear um, these shoes. These are actually pretty thin, but I like them. So it'll kind of add some calmness to the look. It calms it down a little bit. I also got this shirt. This is a button down shirt. It is silky, comes in this kind of abstract pattern. Slightly geometric, just has lines and kind of these paint swatch, paint swatch, paint strokes on them with some lines. So I pair something busy like this with something um, simple and plain on the bottom. You could wear it open like this. I'm probably just gonna wear it open for now. Or of course you can button it up. I love this look. Same with this shirt. This is the second shirt I got. Definitely feeling the button down, kind of printed like, and the tan. So it's not too much color, which I love. It's not too busy. Love that, right? 
Love that. Um, I have on this chain. I just changed out my chain so it wouldn't look so boring. It looks cool. Good on the arms. It's not too short, not too long. I got space. You open your chest, wear it like that. These are very cool. Good beach, good beach vibe. One thing. One thing. This will be the last item of the shopping hall. It's very elegant, very classy. Probably would not wear the chains and stuff with it. Cause that's just a little too busy. But yeah, this is like super chill. Super like light beachy Mexico. Ah. Yes. So these are giving. Yeah, probably do the phone runners with these too. Get a little bit into these details. This is gonna wrap it up for the clothing haul for today. I'm wearing the last shirt. That was a successful clothing haul. Summer vibes, beachy, warm weather clothing. My hair is blonde now. Definitely want to thank you guys for watching the video. If you found it helpful, cool, stylish, if you liked anything you saw in the video, stop and give this video a thumbs up right now. Yes, I'm waiting. Thank you. And while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and throw in a subscribe too. Yeah, um, but anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you liked it. See y'all in the next video. Let me know if you wanna see more clothing hauls.